Hey everybody, it's DC Alpino coming back here with something new today. I'm going to be doing my very first walkthrough of a video game. Yep, here it is. It's a Game Freak game, but which one? Ooh. And it's a Game Boy game. You probably already know what it is, judging by the title. But, here it is. Dun -dun -dun -dun. OMG! I would have never guessed that it's Pokemon Fire Red. Oh my gosh. So, let's start a new game. And skip this tutorial. It's Professor Oak? I would have never guessed. Hello there, glad to meet you. Welcome to the world of Pokemon. My name is Oak. People affectionately refer to me as the Pokemon Professor. This world is inhabited far and wide by creatures called Pokemon. For some people, Pokemon are pets. Others use them for battling. As myself, I study Pokemon as a, as a profession. But first, tell me a little bit about yourself. Sorry if I'm talking a little bit fast, I just don't want to go over the stupid YouTube time limit. Okay, my name. Yeah, boy. I got the coolest name in the world. If you got any other name, uh, my name is always going to be cooler than yours, cause... My name is just awesome. Right, so your name is David. Hey, yeah, boy. This is my grandson. He's been your rival since you were both babies. Um, what was his name now? We're just gonna go with Kaz. Kaz. David, your very own Pokemon Legend is about to unfold. A world of dreams and adventures with your Pokemon awaits. Okay, first thing to do. This is the new game, yeah. Go over, stop over by your PC, go in your item storage, click withdraw item. You're gonna find a potion right in there waiting on your computer for you. It's gonna come in pretty handy. Hit, hit. Super Nintendo Entertainment System. That's so old school. Yeah, just walk by your mom. She doesn't really have anything good in this game. She doesn't do anything helpful to you. And let's leave then. No. Hey, wait, don't go out. It's unsafe. Wild Pokemon live in tall grass. You need your own protection with the Pokemon. I know. Come here. And we're forced to walk into his evil lair of his lab with a bunch of random stuff that we don't know what does. Grabs, I'm fed with bleeding. Kaz, let me think. Oh, yeah, that's right. I told you to come here. Just wait. There are three Pokemon here. Haha, <laughs> the Pokemon are held inside these Pokeballs. Hit, <laughs> hit. We didn't know that. When I was young, I was a serious Pokemon trainer, but now in my old age, I only have these three left. You can have, you hadn't have one. Go ahead and choose. Hey, Gramps, no fair. What about me? Um, are you serious? You're, you're such a disrespectful jerk. Anyway, he's got his Bulbasaur, which is the Grass Starter, Water Starter, which is Squirtle, and the Fire Starter, which is Charmander. And actually, he's a liar. These aren't his only three Pokemon because obviously, in the tutorial. He had a Nidoran, female. And, yeah, so where's that Pokemon on here, huh? Yeah, that's what I thought. Okay, so Squirtle will be my choice, because I just think that Squirtle is a really good Pokemon. So, yeah. And the nickname that I will give it, I bet you none of you were thinking of this, because it's just such an awesome name. Oh, wow. I misspelled the awesomest name ever. I'm sorry. Okay. Yeah, boy. Squirt. Squirt diggity dog. I'll take this one then. Oh, great. He gets the Pokemon that we're weak to. Wow. What a fair player. Wait, David, let's check out our Pokemon. Come on, I'll take you on. Rival Kaz would like to battle you. He sends out his stupid Bulbasaur. Yeah, well, you know what? I don't care about your stupid Bulbasaur. He can... Bulbasaur. Gosh. I hate tutorials. I read it the first time I played the game, but I don't need it anymore. It's just telling you, put some damage on the other Pokemon. Oh, great. We're slower. Ooh, but we're pretty powerful. Okay, so let's just keep attacking. Basically, this is the most boring battle in the game. 
All you're doing is mashing the A button. There's nothing to do other than that. And I'm pretty much gonna own him in this. Wow. I'm not even gonna get in the yellow health. That was a pretty... ownage. Anyway. So, yeah, there's really nothing to do in that battle. But if you ever get low on HP, you can always use that potion that you had saved up. So. It's pretty... It's pretty... You really want to win that battle. Because if you... It gives out really good experience. And... Yeah. So let's leave Professor Oak's ad. Cause, pff, ad? Lab. Because, yeah, he's not cool anymore. He, we just need him to give our Pokemon. Yes, you copied what the trainer tip sign says. Press start to open the menu. Yeah, I don't care. Okay, so let's see what this guy has. Oh yeah, talk to this guy and he'll give you a free potion. So now we got two potions. So yeah. Just keep going and we run into a wild Pokemon. Ooh, we got a Pidgey. Wow. Destroy it! Wow. Watch this Pidgey do more damage to me than Bulbasaur did. Wow, it's gonna do... It did more damage than Bulbasaur. That's how pathetic that fight was. And that fight was really just pathetic. Like, I cannot think of any other word to describe it. Like, normally you survive that battle with, like, 5 HP... But, wow. <laughs> anyway, so, here we are. We're already in the next city. Viridian City. So, I don't really have to heal. Basically, what you're going to want to do, um, go ahead, walk into the Pokemon Center, and there's going to be this guy that somehow knows where you're from. Hey, you came from Pallet Town? You know Professor Oak, right? His order came in. Can you get it to him? And he gives us Professor Oak's parcel. <laughs> so, yeah, he's kind of a weird person. Anyway, so, yeah, we got this parcel from the shop guy that knows where we live. So, I'm going to end off the video right here, guys. So, comment, rate, and subscribe, and I'll come back with some more videos. So, adios!